basically he was no one at the time really just like the yeah, uk yeah. scene didn't know him that was a big and then I don't know, one day we just get up and say, you know what, I'm fed up here, run up and down all over the place. She, she was I think it's time we need to just find, like, this one person. Yeah. I was teaching her how to write and songs. And just sit there and, and just be like a team. Said I'm Diamond's babe. Got us bless this entity. We don't worry about the enemy. So when our friends are free, modern laws are broke. That you have diamonds like the Bowers family. In recent weeks, the name Lisa Mercedes has been all over the Jamaican gossip and entertainment media. This after the British-based dancehall artist declared herself Vibes Cartel's new booth and an affirmative response from the incarcerated World Boss's IG page. Who then is Lisa Mercedes? Well, she's on our stage right now to tell. Lisa, welcome. Hi, Winfred. How is London doing and how are you and family? Yeah, everyone is good. You know, the pandemic is going on now, so I'm just indoors with the kids. I'm just relaxing and just uh, um, doing music. I've got a home studio at home as well, so I've just been recording, mm -hmm. making the most of this pandemic while I'm being a mother as well. So that's what I've been doing and keeping safe at the same time. All right, so answer that question for us about who is Lisa Mercedes. Start with your Jamaican roots. I was born in... Jubilee Hospital, mm -hmm. and I grew up in Red Hills, St. Andrew. I didn't really grow up my mom. My mom gave me to my dad when I was like maybe six months old. Do you know her? And you know her? I don't know why she done it, but she gave it to my dad her? and I grew up my dad. I left Jamaica when I was like 16 so, mm -hmm. and came to the UK. So your parents, your family, where are they now? They're in the UK or in Jamaica? I've got family in America. I've got family in the UK and my mom is still in Jamaica but me and my mom haven't got that relationship because as I mentioned before I, I didn't really grow up with my mom so I haven't got that bond with her and I've got one sister in Jamaica as well so that's about it really. So you consider um, the UK home for you or Jamaica is still home? In my mind Jamaica is still home. But the UK is my home as well, because I've got my kids here, and they go to school, and they were born here, so yeah. All right, so... But wait, Fred, let me say, I'm just, I'm just wearing my glasses in case I get emotional. Well, why in the case hell does this girl annoy me so much, and I don't even know what I like that. So, so I'm just yeah, you know, what, what all prepared today with there, my yeah. shades, yeah, in case, yeah. You know, okay, feel free to bring us some tears, so my dear. We'll, we'll give you no, time to do it. To, yeah, I do get emotional. No, I don't know I like that, but she annoyed the hell out of me. All right, so you're, we know, uh, you're in music, yes. you're in dance. If I get emotional, right, dance -so, I have my glasses on. So for us, your career, where, where, where are you now in terms of your career success and your career growth? Where are you in music? So as an artist in the UK, I've got a lot of people championing me at this minute. Yes. Like, they don't want to see me win because they know how far I'm coming from. Mm -hmm. You know, they know the journey. So right now, everyone is just championing me. Like, sometimes I get messages in my DM saying, like, Lisa, you deserve everything you're getting now. And, yeah, the UK, they love me, man. They're proper supporting me. All right. So I'm not trying to be funny, but not a lot of people know who you like are. Yeah, it's been a long road. Still don't know who she is. I started, I started out with um, Style of G, just, which is my no, baby daddy. I just know it. No, I just mean people would um, know not of her. I was six years old with him, but obviously at the time, he wasn't my baby father. I met him because of a friend of a friend. So I saw him meet him. And they said, the guy come to me and he said to me, there's a guy called Style G from Warning Crew and he's looking for a female artist to be a part of the crew. Yes. And to be first lady of Warning Crew. And them times I just started out doing music. I was all over the place from North London to West London to South London. I tried to make it the music. And this guy called Manager, he keep on ringing me like, Lisa, when I come to the studio, come meet Stylogy. 
Um, them time I'm never too know about him in it, cause in the more the part of UK scene. So basically, he was no one at the time, really. Just like the yeah, UK yeah. scene didn't know him. That was a and then, I don't know, one day I just get up and just say, you know what, I'm fed up fair run up and down all over the place. She, she was I think it's time for me to just find like, this no, one person I was teaching her how to write and, just there and just sit there and just be like, like a team. Because, you know, teamwork makes the dream work in it. So, the point I'm making is, we don't know who Samaji is. No one still don't know who she is. From there, he met me. And then, with DJ little thing. And he's like, yo, your voice sounds bad. I'm like, you sound like... No one still don't know who she is. Um, People that know her now probably just knew of her as being Sanaji's baby mama. So no one even knows that she's sick. Like, as somebody like you, may I look for a rare and yeah, that's how I start out with him. I will start doing this thing together as one in crew. Maybe a couple months after we start dates. Mm -hmm. And um, we've been together for like four years, doing a thing, doing a thing. But you know, sometimes the crew, it don't work out. Because I don't know if you know, sometimes the crew, you always have, because there was like maybe six men in the crew and me alone as female. Mm. So, you know, the crew, you know, sometimes like, you have the one year where I get jealous and the one year I say, them not getting enough attention and then all sort of mad, this mm -hmm. another okay. team and then this one left so, then that one left. And then I think Stylogy start focused on him own career after a while in it. And then myself as well, must start focused on my own career. Come see said I get to eat it in the camp. Mm. Okay, so it was a uh, personal yeah, and business relationship. Yes, it was. Yeah. Okay, and it 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 gave birth to a child. A child yeah. came out of it for both of you. Yeah, yeah. She's six years old now. Yeah. Oh, she's six. Oh, uh, oh, great. And so, okay, so now let's jump into the hot topic. You are yeah. you declared yourself. Carter's boo. Um, yes. The, why did you want to come out public <laughs> yeah, with that. it? Why did I want to come out? Yeah, because my life is an open book. Mm -hmm. it's just and if people are a Gemini, sound, like, I mean, I know my personality, I don't really like to hide things. Yes. And if I have a love for somebody, I just want to share it to my fans, my mm -hmm. fans, I don't call them my family. I just want to share it to my fans and make them know how I feel about this person. So as I said, my life is an open book. So that's why so I just felt like... So you are telling your fans about him, that he's the guy for you right now? And, and it, yeah. just, it just went viral, is it? It just went viral, yeah. Okay, so how did you meet? Uh, <laughs> That one is a sticky one, yeah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very sticky one. Okay. Yeah, obviously we don't meet because the man's <laughs> incarcerated. No, but <laughs> not in the flesh, not in the flesh, but yeah. you would have, you Why know, you communicate, you could write a letter, it could be, you know, I'm just saying. Yeah, Telegram. Yeah, we communicate through Telegram. Telegram? Okay. So that's how you, yes. so, so the relationship started, obviously long distance, and... Uh, and it and it's now at a stage where it's now official. Right? I'm in love. <laughs> it's very sad. Okay. I, oh, you go. go I'm in love. Oh, Wilford. So, so you've been. Uh, you no, know. yeah. Think, mm -hmm. Wilford, listen. This is so deep, yeah. Yes. But people never really understand it. Yes. Like it's such. I have such a spiritual connection with this guy. Yes. Like spiritual communication, spiritual connection, but. Some people understand it, but some people never get it. But it's very, very deep. And more than mind people are trying to get it. But listen, we're not going to get it in a due time. Don't worry. But you're being, It's a spiritual you're being, connection I'm on right now. You be, you're being mm -hmm. trolled by some of his fans, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, so that's... Yeah, they're crazy. It's they're going to call me the crazy British girl. Like, 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 I don't want to call a crazy British girl, but people... People in a fit of mind, the man said, This girl is mad. She's going mental. Like the man is incarcerated. But as I said, I leave that that is very deep. Mm -hmm. And it's not a lot of people going to understand it. Yeah, Only me right now. I'm time. such an humble, don't hurt person. Yes. And nothing that people can say to me to actually get me to retaliate in no form of indecent way. Where do you want to take the relationship? Marriage, kids. Oh. <laughs> so it's all the way. 
all the way. Joke. So where does that leave his his <laughs> wife? Um, come on now, wife, shorty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what? I've never met this lady before. I've never spoke to this lady. Mm -hmm. So I'm not in a three-way relationship. I'm in a relationship with Adija Azim Palmer, okay. a.k.a. Okay. Vibes Cartel. So I'm not in a relationship with is whoever you call her. I've never met her before. I've never speak to her before. So it's Sorry, not a three-way thing, it's a two-way thing on me and him. So I just know about me and him. I don't really know much about her. So, yeah. Sounds like you're not interested in knowing about her. But, of course, she's been there. Surprise, she's she's the mother of his kids and so on. I mean, so you must have... I mean, it's not hard to know who she is, is it? Maybe short is not alone. No, no, I know of her. I'm saying I never well, spoke I mean, to her before. She, she I've never really met her before, so I don't know what's going on with them. I just know about what's going on with me and him. Okay, I understand. All right. So you've, you've done a, a collab with him. Was this before yeah. the relationship or after? Um, it was before. Okay. So let's take a piece of it right here. Dance Hall is the title of that one. So when did you start to get some traction as a solo artist? In 2018, um, I think it's 2017. When do we, oh God, time flies so much. We mm -hmm. released your Zimmy remix. Mm -hmm. um, Stylish G got a song called Zimmy and then me jump on a remix, me and Miss Banks. And then Nicki Minaj, she tweeted the lyrics like a couple months after. Yes. And she you know tweeted, and Banks then is. she came in my DMs, and she's no, no, like, I'm a are. fan from far. Like, mm -hmm. you're so sick. Like, keep doing, doing your thing in it. I love you. Yeah, and me yeah. being a fan of Nicki Minaj for years, like, and for her to actually say that to me, I'm like, wow. Yes. Did she just actually say she's a fan of me? <sighs> I was like pinching myself like, this can't be real, innit? So when Nikki said that to me, I'm gonna start saying, yo, my girl, you know, you need to take yourself serious. Cause I'm not even gonna lie, cause I never really take music serious. I'm gonna just do that beat like on and off, on and off. And in the UK, like being a dancehall artist is really hard. Like it's not easy. A couple years ago, we used to have like six DJs, like used to be on the big radio station, but no, we just have like two. We just have like Shawnee B, the Tim, Tim Westwood and Shawnee B. So we don't really have the platform like that in it. So sometimes we used to get frustrated and say like, oh, like, we really love this dance art thing, but we rather go back home and do it. Oh, and then at the time, I was with that person, and he used to say, yeah. He, he was him that get frustrated as well in it. Mm -hmm. And then, I said, yeah, man, like, we need to go back to Jamaica, yeah, but like my fans just keep me going, in it. Like, keep on saying, yeah. Lisa, don't give up, we so love you. And when the Nikki come and she co sign me as well, and, yeah. and she messaged me and said, yo, Jamaica, I need you guys to come on, on my tour. Then me, she come, mm -hmm. she come, and then she come. You know, so that was, was like one of the biggest highlights in my entire music career. The Nikki came on world tour. So, okay, so you got on her stage. No, Stella and I did yeah, to share the stage with Nicki Minaj in front of 20,000 people is the biggest highlight of my music career. Oh, did she record? That was the one in 2019, right there. Okay, but did she record anything? Yes. Yes. All right, so when can we see something from you now? I'm going to put things in my work department. So right now, I'm signed by this distribution company in the UK. Um, I actually got a big advance from them, like, thank God for that, I'm so happy. So, um, they call it Believe Digital, they're one of the biggest distribution companies in the UK. So right now, my EP is dropping in August. So, um, them signed that EP, so I'm going to be like, um, Damage Music in Jamaica. But well, I have a song come out with him as well, Mia IQ. So that's QQ, QQ, so QQ, QQ brother on him, IQ, is the youngest, he's in the UK, so we're going to have a song come out as well. Le, 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 and um, you know Emton yeah, Music, yeah, that's Din Din, he must have some of them on as well. So we have one of the features come out, then IQ, and then we have a song come out as well. That's one of the biggest things that have ever, ever happened to me. Because listen, like, Vice Cartel, 
so I mean, I don't know. Why me I say? She jump up on the top. You know what I'm saying? 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 You Nobody never recognized her. Everybody was saying who's that girl with Miss Banks. Nobody never knew her. People thought she was one of Miss Banks' is entourage. No one knew who she was. What she had tried now is like her style of do. What I'm saying, she never recognized. She had went there. We put out her album with so much feature. She still never recognized. And everybody knows she was a Jamaica steel. Actually, I pull up. Everybody knows she was a star. A child star. Even if she pull up, she still not knowing. But she not have nobody to link with. You understand the message, you wrong? Everybody's all for themselves, innit? I'm half a big up the man, they like, give him ratings, yo, like, the man is just the best. And he not all for himself, he look out for people and help people, like him always help people, innit? See, of course, there a lot of them want to be like him, not just to... Not just to sound like him, they want to look like him. Yeah, man, them not in PNA, man. All of them. I don't know what I admit it, but my favorite that man is Caesar or due to Caesar, because that man is just a legend, yo. What's the energy in the UK for this album? Great, it's just overwhelming. Like people message me every day, like Lisa McCall, wait for the album here, come out, and no, it's crazy, man. He's getting crazy, love. Why are they gonna message her? Fans all over the Seriously. world, especially the UK, that they, them love him. Even my son, my son love him so much. My son Benzino. You know? mm -hmm. You said, Mom, I'm at school, everybody love cartel. Of course. Like, and these are kids, like 13. You know what I mean? Like, no, no man, they love him, man, crazy. It's a daughter sure? she have with him. Well, Lisa. Yeah. We love you too, sweetheart. Thanks for sharing. I'm coming to Jamaica soon after the it's corona. Fine. Yes, maybe I should ask you about that. Do you wish to come back home to Jamaica? Are you, of is course. that on your agenda, coming back home to Jamaica? Definitely, because I know I'm there for so much years, yeah? And sometimes I feel a way like, Ears, I come yes. back home and it comes show the people them and as I say, a dance hall, it's like real dance hall supporters. Them are one of the artists crowd for please listen. When we say the artist, we mean the artist. And so once them accept you, and you can conquer the Jamaican stage there and a the Jamaica fan base there. Trust me, you can conquer the world. All right, well, I, I want to wish you all the best with your relationship too, and uh, and, yeah. and the music and all. and. Um, I look forward to when you come to Jamaica. Oh, I was here to get emotional. Yeah. And when we can meet in the flesh. Sure. She's just annoying. No That's problem. Thank you so much for having here. me. Yeah. All right. So there we have her. Lisa Mercedes. And she she she's promising some big things in that song. She wouldn't get All that right. recognized. And still to come. No one, no the one. Kevin Downswell remix that features some of the biggest voices. In secular reggae and dance or music. Next. Yeah, but hold on, she's known for, 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 for not, not as, a, as an artist, yeah. she's known for the wrong reasons, for all the wrong reasons. She's known for the music. Blah, 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 blah. Yes, so, once you go on, there's a different person. You know, Jamaica, man. You go on there, I am fixed up. I am fixed up myself. 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 I am fixed up my
them now recognize them now recognize the right now so she have to climb on the man with the on top of the pinnacle where they up top powered by KFC by the project is Beanie, aimed Bunty, at the Lexus everywhere as we grapple with the COVID crisis 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 as we grapple with the COVID cr